What is up, Flock? Phoenix Hill here, and welcome back to the Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods and give you guys my thoughts and opinions. And I'll leave them linked down in the description down below so you too can go download them if you are interested. Now, today we're going to be focusing on this Mac Pack and Volvo. Um, I don't know if I'll get to anything else. I'm going to try my best to, but uh, there's a kind of bit of a lot that goes to these two mods. Well, I think it's technically three mods. Um, and one I've already covered, but I feel like the update's big enough that I should cover it again. And everything else will feature next week. Um, because I'm trying to get as much done as possible. Because uh, this time next week I'll be uh, hopefully unpacking stuff <laughs> in a new, in, in a, uh, I should say, a temporary apartment. But um, instead of wasting any more time, let's get into it. So I've, I've actually covered this pack before, I do believe. But they, there's been enough. For me, I don't like covering mods uh, like that, that get updated. I rather, you know, just. You know, cover it once and then you know if it if it's a drastic change such such as like the uh phoenix and stuff like that um i will cover those but i feel like this one's drastic enough that i can uh do a cover or a, a re spotlight on if that makes any sense so um before the mac came with uh you had the mac i don't know if it had the grain truck i know it had the green bed where you can put it on it the pup trailer the trailer um and grain beds i don't know if it had a dedicated grain truck but now it does um and it still comes with everything it did before but now it also has a another truck where you can attach the phoenix attachers to um i'm not quite sure if they're under this or not I don't remember. I don't even know if I have the Phoenix N. Hold on. We should probably check that. Do I even still have the Phoenix N? Because I think it got removed when I rooked it. I got the Max N. I don't think I have the Phoenix N. Okay. So the Phoenix beds will work on this. It's the X2, X3 bed. And so they updated the truck to, per, to, to have the frame for it. And each of the new beds so i think it just came with green green beds before now it comes with the silage boss beds on it and it has they're set up for x1 or x2 and x3 which is the what how the phoenix is set up and i believe the mac from a2 studios is set up the same way let's see yeah so maybe it's not hold on Here's this one. Yeah, rigid X3, X2. So we'll buy this one. So we, I mean, if, effectively we have two different style maps. So this is the X3, I believe. And that might be the longer style. Of so we'll try that out. Make sure it connects. Make sure I'm just not talking out my, my, uh, my behind if you know what I'm saying okay. boom so there you go uh, this will work with the Phoenix it will work with the TLX uh, the whole TLX lineup anything made to studios which is nice um, so let's go ahead and customize see what if there's anything new we can do to the trucks I don't necessarily remember what we could do before. Why is this engine sound so good? Okay. Customize it. We're just we're gonna make this. We're gonna set this up for uh, haul. We're not gonna do well. Of course, the other one is for the beds, but we'll do the the most powerful engine in it. Cross track HS oh rims. Okay. Sure, we'll get the meaty date and rims on it. Oh no, we're getting the meaty meaty. Yeah, meaty meaty. Design standard. Design one. Okay, I think we're gonna go design one. Exhaust single. Dual. Okay, we're gonna go dual air conditioner. Yeah, we wanna be we wanna stay cool. FPHH man for life. Ooh, beige? No. We're yeah, definitely going with black. Uh, GPS is a separate mod, main color. Okay, 
let's do like, can we do that in black and then what's this do? That's the hood. All right, let's do that in black. This in orange. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We're, we're gonna roll with it. Customize. All right. So you can't really do much to the truck. It does look nice as it is though. This thing takes off, holy crap. Jake break down. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, customize. Oh, we can't do the meaty rims on this? Darn. Alright. Main color. And we'll keep that white. And we'll do the orange stripe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's that's a Phoenix truck if I've ever seen one. I forgot. Let's uh Let's get a silo here. Let's do underground. Put it there. Fill this up with something. Wheat is good. Oh, we have two. Okay. Yeah. 59,800 pounds of wheat. Start overloading. See, this has a hitch. Can we pull the pup trailer with this too? <laughs> I don't think it comes. Hold on, let's let's double check. Make sure it doesn't come with a dolly. That way we can do two American flatbed. Yeah, no, that's gonna be a no. All right. And we can fill it. Yep. All right. You'll love to see it. Okay. <laughs> That's my bad. up we have let's do we'll do the grain truck in the pup trailer and then for the the bag we'll do the potato box sounds good I wish it had unreal options because I would use this totally. Uh, yeah, biggest. I'm guessing it has the same options you can add. I think we'll keep it dual. I don't want triples on it. Design standard. Design one. Do design one. Do duals. Yep. Fat boy hate heat. Yeah, we just want it all the same way, and then let's. Oh, this one does the whole thing. Oh. Okay, well, we'll do. Do it like that. That works. Bummer, dude. Let's make sure the pup matches. White, orange. Yeah. Okay. Have 
12. Yeah, fill that up. Have 12, and yep, fill that up. Man, I love the way these things sound. Things unload so slow. This is this is really slow compared to the trailer. Holy crap! Oh, you can turn the Jake brake off. Oh, there we go. What's going on with the back wheel is just the the little hologram thing that it makes it look weird from afar. Did that get cut off? What's going on there? Alright. That's the UE for thumbnail purposes. Purpose I. Me. Oh. Eh, there we go. Hey JT, signs down. <laughs> Sorry. Why was that still running? That was weird. All right, last one we have is the. Uh, one with the bed, and then we'll rate this pack. Actually, it's two packs. Customize. Yep, biggest engine. Well, you know, we'll put. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do that for this one. Yep, side one, dual. Oh, we have rear end options here? We didn't have it on the other ones, did we? Yeah, we'll do the quarter, the fender thing. Air conditioner, yep. Bet kit, standard. Headache rack. Oh, it's fifth wheel option only? Wait, is this. So, wait. How do you... Oh, okay. So what's the point of having the other one? If the, you can make this one... Unless I have two different packs in, which very well could be the case. We'll do this... So you can put the service better. We'll do the X2 on this? Sure. Black, black, orange, customize. Are they, are they two different, uh, they were all together. Are they two different packs? Matt Green hauling pack, Matt Green, Matt Green hauling pack. Do I have two from packs in? Or is it why I don't understand why they'd have those if you could just make Nope, I only have one in that has everything. That's weird. 
Alright. We'll check out this green bit, I'm guessing. No, no, no. Wait, I want this to be black. There we go. Yeah. It's the complete feather hauling pack. If we fit in here. Anything we want. Alright. Two total mixed rations. It sounds this great and you put that weak horn on it? That's kind of stinky. And it dumps. Alright. So the Mac Grain Hauling Pack will give it 5 out of 5. It looks really, really good. And I love, like I said, I feel like there's enough of an upgrade um, that it makes it worth uh, covering again because you do get the new truck with the, the frame where you can put all the different uh, bodies on it. I just I don't quite understand why you have this option and you have the truck that can do both. Um, I mean you could just do away with it and just, uh, like save some space and like you don't have to have the dedicated grain truck. It's cool and all but yeah. You could just gotten away with just one truck. Um, I don't know if I said it or not. It'll go five out five. Like I said, it does look good. I love all the options. Uh, definitely worth the download and to check out. And the, the sounds are amazing, freaking amazing. Um, the bed pack, which comes with the this grain bed, the silage boss beds, the the grain bag grain bed here and then the potato boxes over there we'll also get a 5 out of 5 they all look really really good um, and I love the fact that you can like it works for any of the uh, trucks that have the X2, X3 beds um, that's cool I, I like that so it, it, it expands on that I guess you can say that whole the amount of beds we get so you literally the you can use it, the Phoenix for all this. You can use that Mac for all. So you can have a couple different Mac looks and everything. So yeah, I'll go file five. And last, we're going to check out the Volvo, which it also works with those packs, which is pretty cool. And we're going to see what we can do with this thing. This thing sounds really, really good too. Customize. We need a Volvo pack. Like we have for the pack car pack and all that. So we have day cab, day cab long, day cab XL, flat roof sleeper, flat roof super long, flat roof sleeper XL, mid roof sleeper. Oh, we don't have the high rise? Bummer. Um, we'll do the flat roof sleeper. I don't like the long frame. I'm weird. Uh, we'll do the most powerful engine it's got. We have cross track aluminum, aluminum 2. Three, four, what's the difference between let's 
do two. Yeah, I like that best. Um, grill and bumper, standard. Volvo logo. Lower bumper. Yeah, let's do the lower bumper and the logo. I think it looks good. Cab, roof options, design one. So put like a visor. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I like the... I like that look. Yeah, no, no. Give me the antennas. Yeah, that look. That looks mean. Um, exhaust, single straight. Single straight tall. Dual curve, dual curve tall. Dual straight, dual straight tall. Single curve, curve tall. Let's do the dirt, dual curve tall. Wet kit standard. Wet kit. Standard. Uh, okay, we'll do the wet kit. Back of cab standard. Handle. Oh, fairings. Headache rack. Can we do hit? Yeah. Like that look there. Yep. Rear option standard. Quarter fender. Mud flaps. Mud flaps too. Do they, do they chain? Are they different? Yeah, let's do that look. Fuel tank. Give me the big one. Yeah. Main color. White. Wait, let's do the orange. <laughs> Keep the Phoenix color. Bumper. Can we do... What we do... We did the fenders in orange, right? There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right. Customize. Yes. Wait, were we supposed to? Do, we were supposed to do this in the. Uh, whoops. Hold on. We were supposed. To, can can we use this for the pet? I, I, I think so. Right. Yeah. There we go. X three. Service bed attacher. Service bed attacher. X two. Um. I think we need the X2, don't we? Yeah, okay. Fortunately, we can't do the sleeper with the X2, but that's fine. That's fine. Check out this interior. I like it. Dude, this sounds so good. Yeah, buddy. This is too. Not quite sure what that does. Let's paint our bed up to match. Unrealistic, that's what we want. Both flaps. Make this white with orange. Yep. Customize. Spaz now. Let's go. Fill this bad boy up. Oh, nope. Let's do that again. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that shut off. All right. I think we see enough. Alright, the Volvo will give a 5 out of 5. It looks really, really good. I have no complaints whatsoever on this thing. It is beautiful. Everything works. 
Uh, the only thing, I, I wish I had a better horn than that. I mean, the engine sounds are amazing. I just wish I had a better horn. But yeah, I, th this is great stuff. So everything gets a 5 out of 5. If you guys did like today's video, do me a huge favor and leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 uh, Phoenix Moments, be sure to click that subscribe button. Or not Phoenix Moments, Moz Bollies. Be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys will be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.